So in my discouragement vlogs a couple of days ago, I first of all spoke about discouragement. Second of all, I spoke about something that is also very close to my heart that I want to share as much as I possibly can, and that's confidence. Confidence is one of the most important, if not the most important thing that I believe that you can apply to whatever you're doing to make it first of all seem easier. You're gonna have more fun with it because you know, you believe in what you do, you talk with conviction. I think that's very important as well. But confidence. Now, first of all, let me just start off by saying, I believe that some people are born with confidence, but I also believe that the majority of people have to learn confidence through experiences where they have to get out of their comfort zone. Now, I've got two examples of gaining confidence today. The first one is a very close friend of mine, Roy. He worked as a bartender, as a flair in a venue, a couple of, well, I'm gonna say, a a few years ago. I'm just gonna put it in perspective. His bot, he was serving drinks one night and you know, a bunch of customers leaving them all happy as he always does. That's 100% fine. He didn't do a single thing wrong. His boss came up to him a couple of minutes later and asked him to take his shirt off and get on the bar. As I said, he didn't have confidence to even argue. He just got on the table and took his shirt off. well you prepare these amazing drinks for our customers but something's lacking we need you to step things up a bit how's about taking off your shirt jumping up on the bar and uh, giving the ladies something you know give them what they want to see think about it and I'll see you later when he left that night there was a boost of confidence that he got when he was talking about his self-esteem, when he's talking to anyone, when he's talking to women, when he's talking to his boss, first of all, he had more confidence and he had more conviction with what he was saying. That's the first kind of confidence that you gain, where you don't have the conviction to even argue, as he said, okay? The second kind of confidence that you can gain is the way that I gained mine in a relationship. Now, I'm not gonna talk about the relationship because that's between me and the other person. However, I will say the one thing that I took from the relationship is confidence. Confidence to, first of all, go to her and actually ask her out. That kind of confidence is something that I believe that a lot of people have, but a lot of people don't know how to use properly, okay? And I'm by no means a role model on how to use this confidence. I just learned how to talk to people easier as I was in this relationship, okay? That's my little bit, that's my little summary of confidence. Now keep in mind, there is a helpline that you can call or something that you can do to gain this confidence. You can subscribe to my channel right now. I'm just kidding, don't do that. That was really bad. I don't know why I even said that. Anyway, we're here at the beach. I'll see you a bit later. Here in Hillary's, gonna get some cool little drinks. Got the demo over there. Let's do it. <laughs> so, what I just did, unknowingly, Tell was us. I walked yeah. over to the lolly shop, right? Yeah. And so, I may have purchased licorice roots, which I thought were some type of sweet or candy, if you would. <laughs> Turns out that I actually purchased. Wood. Get a bit closer. Wood. Um, Look at that. It is. It is wood. Um, <laughs> so I purchased. It smells I, like straight wood. <laughs> purchased a tree. Three trees. So three trees. So I'm gonna go. So home. if anyone needs licorice, Damien has got a fair I just, supply. I just started um, a licorice brand, uh, and I'm gonna start growing on my own farm. Licorice farm. Only so. in Perth. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Licorice roots. Oh. Amazing. 
I've got a bit of bad news. Yesterday and the day before, me and Damien both spoke about Lowe's and a possible client being at Lowe's. That project actually is not happening anymore. The company cut the funding for that project. So we are no longer doing the induction video. Today was the confidence speech. I'm really happy with that because it's it's everything that I wanted to share. So I'm by no means a role model. I just wanted to share my opinion and my experiences as well as one of my friends. As you can see here, I'm back in my garage. Today wasn't really a long day of shooting. It was only a two hour day. I feel like I really shared a lot today in a very little amount of words. So I feel like the message that I was trying to portray about confidence, about learning confidence, increasing your self-esteem, I feel like what I shared about that was very powerful, for me anyway. So hopefully it's powerful for someone else that's in need of it or someone else that wants to increase their self-esteem. But that's pretty much it for today and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.